Falling in love with ourselves is probably one of the most beautiful things that we could experience in this lifetime. Hi, I'm David Essel, adjunct professor, author, radio, television host, uh, so much more, and master life coach, relationship coach. And when we think about falling in love with ourselves, that's what we're talking about when we use the word self-esteem, self-esteem, self-love, you know, how we feel about ourselves. And, and when we talk about women, women that I've worked with, women that I've written about in my book, Slow Down, the fastest way to get everything you want, who have really high levels of self-esteem and self-love. They've, they've followed certain criteria to get there. You know, to fall in love with ourselves is really challenging because in our day and age, ever since we've been little girls, when we're speaking about women, you know, we've been told that so much is due to our, our, our ability to, to be beautiful physically. Um, so self-love, of course, is the way that we view ourselves in our physical beauty. Or in some families, we're raised to be incredibly smart uh, academically. So we judge ourselves in regards to how we're doing academically. In other families that you're raised in, it could be business. Seriously, right? Like a lot of women are raised in the environment where the, maybe their father, their brother, their uncle, their mother, their sister, their aunt has been really successful, very, very successful entrepreneurs. And so they feel the pressure to to be that, and if they're not, their self-esteem can suffer. And I want to talk about some really simple things that you can do to build your self-esteem or self-love. Um, number one, and th this is one I've always found quite interesting. You know, when 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 women look in the mirror, most women look to see what is wrong. So number one, when you look in the mirror, we're going to do the opposite. Look in the mirror and look for what is right with your smile, with your makeup, with your clothes, with your with, with your uh, posture. Look when you look in the mirror, look for what is right first and then secondarily look for what's wrong. Whenever I work with women and we're going through self-esteem coaching, I'll ask them to look in the mirror and I'll say, what do you see? And the very first thing 100% of women I've worked with will do is they'll go, oh my gosh, this color lipstick is not matching whatever. Or they'll say, oh, my shirt is really wrinkled. Or they'll go, my hair is an absolute mess. Or they'll say, you know, I look really tired today. I don't think I usually look that tired, do I? <laughs> and so someone who, who, who is struggling with self-esteem often will look for what is not working. It's the same thing in life mentally. You know, the person who's struggling with self-love, self-esteem will, will speak about what isn't working in their life. It's the same thing. And so when we're trying to build self-esteem, the very first thing to do is try to retrain your thought process. And when you look in a mirror, look for what you like first. And then secondarily, go ahead and look for what needs to be adjusted, changed, solved, whatever it might be. Okay, so that's number one. Number two is the ability to accept compliments with a thank you period. So if someone says to you, oh my gosh, that was so amazing that you, you passed the real estate exam on the first test, or the first take, that the first time you took it, and you just go, oh, thank you. You know, thank you very much. Instead of, thank you, but you know, I only got a 90 and I was really hoping to get a 97. Or if someone, you know, addresses the clothes that you're wearing or how good you're looking in the, in the bathing suit and, they, and then a very common response is, well, you know, it would look much better if I lost another five pounds and I'm really working on it. Instead of that, just say, you know, thank you, thank you very much. Or sometimes people will comment you on a relationship and say, gosh, you know, you and your husband or you and your girlfriend have the most incredible relationship I've ever seen. And again, the simple answer is thank you. Instead of, well, thank you, you know, most of the time we do pretty good, but last weekend was really a bear. <laughs> you know, instead of like going into that, in other words, if you catch the drift of where I'm going, is that with compliments, all we say is thank you and then we shut up. We sit in it. We allow the waves to flow over us. The waves of the compliment to flow over us. And if we do these things, very simple things, I'm not going to give you anything mind-blowing on this, although I will tell you is that if you follow these two principles that I've given you about looking in the mirror for what is right versus what is wrong, and being able to accept a compliment with, um, with, with a degree of an air of sophistication and confidence, just a, a, a simple thank you, <clears throat> that's an awesome thing to do. And then the third way to boost self-esteem for women is to look to give other people, and especially women, compliments daily. Now, for a lot of women that struggle with self-esteem, if a beautiful woman walks in or a woman who's very successful in business or a woman who, who it looks like they have a great relationship, for people that are struggling with self-esteem, 
that they'll never go up to that person and say, oh my gosh, you look so gorgeous today, or I can't believe how sex successful you've become in the last two years of running your own business, or you know, you and your husband look so in love, I'm just in, in, in enamored to see that in today's society. Instead of saying that, a lot of women who struggle with self-esteem will just be quiet. Or they'll actually go in the opposite direction, which is the exact opposite of self-esteem, and they'll make a comment to someone, and then they'll say something like, oh, doesn't she just think she's something with those new fake boobs, you know? Or doesn't she just think she's something, that she has that new car because she's so successful? Instead of going there, go the opposite direction and compliment the person directly, and as importantly, talk positively about them to maybe some of your friends. These three steps, looking for what's right in the mirror, accepting a compliment with a thank you and that's all and complimenting other women and men could be three of the fastest ways to boost your own self-esteem and self-love. Please share this video with as many women as you can, as many men as you can. Get it out there, circulate it. Let them know there are steps to take to boost how we feel about ourselves because once we have that amount of self-esteem, that self-love that's constantly rising, the whole world around us shifts. We start to attract to us more loving people, kind people, relationships change. Everything in the outside world changes when the heart changes. And you are the most important person in this world for you to begin loving at a deeper level today. Go ahead and sign up at YouTube for our Super Slowdown account so all these videos come right to you. And don't forget, if I can help you in any way, one-on-one -on -one as a master life coach, contact me via talkdavid.com. That's talkdavid.com. Okay? Have an awesome day filled with self-love. Bye now.